team leader for the bereavement and donor support team. We provide the immediate support for families and patients um, prior to and immediately after their death. It entails providing support and choice to all families irrespective of place of death. The team are fantastic. I've worked alongside the team for the last seven years and I've seen how the team develop. I am really pleased that this hospital is providing a service for everybody when that time comes that you have to face. Any recognition for the work that we do in bereavement is uh, an accolade to us, but um, to go that one step further and have the work that Fiona's done recognised, recognises us as a good hospital and certainly does a lot for the QDOS of nursing. All of the team members are really enthusiastic, really dedicated and professional in what they do. Um, Fiona particularly leads that team and sets a fabulous example in terms of um, how we can support patients and relatives in a very difficult situation and I think it's testimony really to her and the team that we can turn such um, a, you know, a sad, sad situation into such a positive thing where you can see other people benefiting from the loss of your, your loved one really. I have got the best team, not only in the hospital, I know I've got the best team anywhere. Um, Describe my team. My team is just not the nucleus of my team, Lynette, Dave, Julie and Gordon. My team is every member of the healthcare um, professional within this organisation. Every porter, every administration staff, every nurse, every doctor that looks after somebody who's dying. That's my team and that's how I would describe my team. So what does this award mean? This is something huge. This is recognition for all of us that look after somebody who is dying within this organisation and the wider community because we work really closely with the coroner and the police, all of whom refer patients to my service. I'm really, really proud of the people that I work with every day. And if that's down to um, leadership or, or whatever you may call that, that makes me really, really proud. That's a great achievement. They're, they are just fantastic people. Dame Christine, will you please tell us who is going to carry that prestigious title for the next 12 months? The Nurse of the Year 2011 is Fiona Mercy. Oh, you kept uh, applauding because I think she's about to burst into tears if you didn't. I'm chilled. <laughs> you're chilled and you're choked. Chilled. <laughs> I have the most privileged job that there is. It's probably the easiest job to do. Um, this award isn't about me. It's because I'm surrounded by the most amazing team. Julie, Lynette, Dave and Gordon, who's not with me tonight, it's about them. This isn't about me, this is for them. Well, you've got a year ahead of you now in this role. How are you going to use that year? I hope that I'm going to do Nurses Proud, because I'm really, really proud to be a nurse. Congratulations, our Nurse of the Year, Fiona Murphy!